As we all face uncertainty about the novel coronavirus, there are things we can do to stay calm. Our Jandria Turner spoke with a counselor who has a few ideas about not letting the stress of worrying about our physical health damage our mental health. With no social distancing measures, like curbside pickup, not being able to go to the gym, and many of us working from home, a lot of us are facing a new reality. COVID-19 is a threat to our physical health, but the surrounding it and the new forced isolation can also be an effect on our emotional health. Counselor Wendy Wood says it's important not to worry about anything that we cannot control. When we are confined, the last thing we need is our stress level and the chemicals um, in our body to increase so that our anxiety is worsened. One thing you can do instead is reflect. Being more intentional with what we want our future to look like, thinking of hopes and dreams, and not so much paying attention to the negative um, communications and the negative information that we're surrounded with right now. One way you can do that is by keeping track of your feelings, both positive and negative. Since this is unprecedented for all of us, it would be great for us to all keep a, a prayer journal, a gratitude journal, maybe even a diary of how things are changing day to day and how you're feeling emotionally. Another challenge is finding a balance between staying informed and protecting your emotional health. News is wonderful. We need reputable news sources, but we must limit our time, especially when the news is focused on one thing, such as COVID-19. For people who like to socialize, she says these times call for a little creativity. For extroverts, it can be very hard to participate daily in this social distancing, and it can have a negative impact on our mental health. So it's important to think outside the box. It helps keep your mind occupied with activities like reading, a crossword puzzle, calling a friend, and even exercise. While we're protecting the community, we still need to take care of our own selves from a physical health perspective and a mental health perspective. If you are feeling down, Woods encourages you to call someone you trust or call an emergency hotline.